Living up here in the Canadian wilderness is the literal dream in summer, but winters up here are no joke. Well, this is unexpected. I need some snow too. Please, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Right now, it's still safely vest season, but things change quick. <laughs> so it's time to winterize our cabin. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. Big day, big day, big day. Who's excited? Are we gonna leave the hot tub on? <laughs> With this much to do, we need a list. To do, oh so. You wanna help write the list? Aww. Thank yes, a baby. good boy. He says, make sure you add, give me lots of treats. Yeah, there's one more thing I'd like to put on there. It has to do with the bowl. Just write bowl question mark. And I'll show them in a little bit. Stay tuned for the mystery bowl. Things get really weird up here. I've never really used this tool before. Oh my god. Don't move, okay? Bowl spelled B O W L. Really? Bowl. Bowl. Big, big, big. Windows? Matcha? Little mindset refresh. <laughs> Hello, baby. Just take a Beginning with some deep breaths, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Are you jazzed? Are you ready for a great day? No, I'm super relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> the winter doesn't wait for no one. Let's crack on. Okay, first project of the day is to put windows on this screened in porch. <laughs> This is our gym space. Oso loves sleeping out here. And to make it multi-season, we actually put, wow, you got a lot of energy now, Abe. So currently, this is a screen, lets the wind come through. We're gonna put some plastic Lexan on top of that. We're gonna just put some a plastic <laughs> Lexan on that. He sounded so like a mommy channel. Like, you see, so I'm really into this product, Lexan. Okay, let's get working. Yeah, say less. Say less. Did you forget our handshake, bro? Sorry, say less. I feel like the timing is funny when we got the tractor. Be Beck basically stopped lifting and carrying everything, so the tractor is like my new girlfriend. You and every time I go to take the tractor out, you're like, what? You really need it for that? But it's like, yeah, we have it. We might as well use it. Yeah. So right. these plastic boards are super heavy. And are they Lexan? <laughs> <laughs> and there's like 12 of them. What are you shooting right now? Okay. Amen, you weren't going to get the tractor for that. Baby, go lift the big one. Oh, I got this. <laughs> you got the two small <laughs> ones. There's only two of those. It is tick season again, which is strange, but they do come out again in fall. So, if you've never seen a tick before, and they carry Lyme disease, and even if you rip them or throw them out, they will still kill you. Sorry mate, but you do need to die. <laughs> Babe, let me just grab these for you. <laughs> This is riveting content. There she is, the big turn. <laughs> well, that's convenient. That was a 15 minute expedition for less than a 50 meter walk. I'm scared to ask what it is that you're doing now, bud. Each sheet needs to go in the same spot, otherwise you're putting new holes every year. So. Yeah. This year I'm doing something a little more permanent. Oh jeez. This is gonna be A. Oh my god, so when we're sitting out here in summer, you're gonna see like A, B, C, D along the thing? Is that a problem? That's so ugly, Eamon! Is it? Yeah! Well, I didn't think about that. Would you rather one, two, three? I'd rather nothing. I guess we could just put new holes. Yeah, okay. So don't do this? Don't do that. Sorry, man. That's a big belly. <laughs> nice! Perfect. She's amazing! Perfect. You know you're really helpful on the job side. <laughs> the foreman 
and comes around and redoes all your work. actually significantly warmer already and on a sunny day it almost acts as a sunroom in here because there's no ventilation it just traps in the heat and there have been times when it's like 20 degrees in here even though it's like minus 10 outside if it's sunny is it premature to give it a tick Eamon? Nah, it's off. let's do it woohoo first tick I was standing outside for five minutes with my shoes on and Beck said we're going down to the boat what what do you like how does that even make sense honestly i can't explain it i know but i was outside 30 weeks pregnant i was outside you should have told me give me a bite <laughs> it's cold i didn't even heat it up <laughs> that's how you know i was trying to go quick all right let's go we take a lot of pride in being the first people to put their boat in the lake every year and the last ones to take it out I don't think we've ever done a boat ride this late in the year. Times and places. But we figured before we put it in storage, we might as well. And it's life and the point is. As you can see, it's not quite best weather on the boat. positive that if we were to ask Oso where his happiest place is on earth, he would describe this beach. Pelvic floor, pelvic floor. Watch the pelvic floor. What? Sit. <laughs> so cute. People are probably wondering how you going, mate. 30 weeks pregnant. I was really struggling with like nerve and shoulder pain the last time you guys saw me. And that's definitely going better, but still, you know. Overall really. back pain. But I really hate complaining, honestly. If, if, if you talk to me each morning, I have a new symptom. So I'm just kind of trying not to. <laughs> <laughs> Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> also, watch out, big boy. <laughs> The good news is baby girl is kicking away. We're at the point where I can see her movements. Just if I look down at my belly, Eamon can feel her so strongly. So honestly, it makes it all so worth it. Come on, Os, bed. Come on. And the next time we're at this beach, there will be a human child with us. She'll be here, eh? She'll be here. Next on our list was to clean the boat. Eamon just genuinely suggested that we don't clean it, tarp it, and uh, just deal with it in the spring. Uh, we have to deal with this too. <laughs> oh, oh, wow, good job, Eamon. Oh. Oh. oh my gosh, are we keeping that? Okay. Oh, baby infant. Oh, these are disgusting. We are still planning a big overhaul of this space. But until then, I'm just going to store the life jackets and the water toys, like water skis and stuff in here. Until next year.
Oh, thank you. Easy water. Hi. I'm gonna clean that girl good. Back to the warm water. For a cloth, did you bring a towel? I brought a few different things. Okay. Who are you gonna call? Work smart, not hard. Everyone wants to come up when there's fun things to do. <laughs> Where is everyone now? I think we're still having fun. Are you still having fun, baby boy? You okay down there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Uh. <laughs> so sore. I would call today a very successful day one of winterizing. We managed to clean the boat. Last beach burn. Yellow mat away. That's good, bud. You need help, lady. I'm making you a soup. I need so much help. I roasted some veggies for you. We'll see you tomorrow, guys. Wait, I, you don't want to show them the soup? When do we get to find out what bowl is? Oh, that's tomorrow. Okay. We've got an autumn salad. Buddy. Alongside with a lentil squash soup. Whoa. Oh, so you have a tip in your head. Tell Daddy, there's a tip in your head. Are you going to be a good boy? Do you see it? It's right on the top near his, near his left eye. Yeah. yeah. Good boy. Good boy. So. Good spot. My least favorite part of winter is short days. It's October, mid-October, and it's 6.30 and the sun's gone. Whew. At least we got some warming soup and a chef who keeps us happy. This is amazing, man. That's your birthing experience. With practice, meditation and mindfulness can help you to conserve your energy for labor instead of spending it on mental chatter or resistance. I have been so incredibly in love with baths lately. I feel like they just relieve so much of the pain and pressure in my back. And I also just use it as a time to chill. So sometimes I have nothing on and I'm like just connecting to baby. Sometimes I have yoga nidra or another kind of meditation. Um, and other times I'm watching like friends or trash TV like Love is Blonde or whatever. <laughs> but it's just kind of me time at the end of the day and I love it. I wanna thank Headspace for sponsoring today's video. You have heard me talk about Headspace before because I was first introduced to the app back in 2019 by my friend Craig Holmes. And I have turned to this app to gain the tools and knowledge to navigate some of our life's biggest challenges, whether that be losing and grieving our best friend, going through cancer, and now throughout my pregnancy journey. Headspace is an app that has mindfulness tools like meditation, it also has sleep casts that I'm obsessed with and mindful movement exercises. I wish I could say I am super consistent and practice meditation every single day. And the truth is that I kind of ebb and flow just like everything in life. But when I am practicing, I find myself just feeling so much more grateful and a lot more calm. We are all on such different mental health journeys, but I am so confident in saying that there is something for everyone on Headspace. You saw it last night in the bath that I have started the preparing for birth program and I'm really looking forward to approaching what's coming with a really great and clear mind. If you want to see how Headspace might be right for you, you can click the link in our description box or scan this QR code for your 60 day completely free trial of the app. And I'd also love to hear what it is that you do for self care. Uh, especially if you're a mama to be, I would love to just keep adding more tools to my toolkit. Oh man. I'm 
in need of a little extra support this morning. I can't even tell you how good that feels. This is my first time wearing it. It's gonna be a long day, friends. <laughs> For who? For me. I'm the pregnant one! First things first, we're gonna put away this. <laughs> what are you struggling today, huh? It's not like you, a little pregnancy fog. You guys should have seen her at the intro. But we are weeks away. What was I gonna say? I don't know. Living up here in the Canadian wood. What? <laughs> literal dream in summer. But we. Why can't I. I Come can't on, think. mate. This is so unlike me. Living up here in the Canadian oh. wilderness. <laughs> what is my line? I think I need more caffeine or something. What is my line? Something right, now it's, season. right now it's vest season. First things first, we're putting all this away. Have you been sitting on the couch? Oh boy. Oh, I can't do that. That's stupid. Oh, oh. 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 <laughs> Maybe you can't throw a pillow either. So brown! What is going on? It's full of water. What the the stand is? Yeah. Oh so leave it. Oh so leave it. Yucky. So outdoor furniture and porch. Hell yeah. I'm more of a cross out guy. Okay. Yeah? <laughs> sure. Can I cross these out? Yeah, sure. You're very visual like that. Yeah, like that like deletes it out of my yeah, head. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. Otherwise I still keep reading it. Yeah, okay. Good, Charlie. Nice. We're getting uh, there. This guy is not quite done, actually. Yeah, well. Sea urchins. Well, we don't live on the sea. Lake so. urchins. It probably doesn't help that we store it rolled while it's like wet and everything. Water lines or winterizing Quebec garage or the docks? Oh, they both sound so excited. <laughs> they all. <laughs> all right. Now that the rain has started, let's have some fun. Okay, so the plan here, Dolly. Yeah. Is Osu's going to bark the whole time on the shoreline yeah oh, oh, wait and we're gonna disconnect from here oh my god the muck then we're gonna pull it out with the sea dews yeah a little more less 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 i'm having so much fun take three <laughs> Great success! Then we're going to disconnect these ones. Then we're going to put these ones on top of these ones and anchor it out there. What could go wrong? Good boy, Oso. Okay, hold on. <laughs> it takes me a long time. I'm barely okay. Ah! Yikers. Yes. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Good boy. Yep. I think I officially understand why nobody else does this this late in the year. I think we're working with 8 degrees Celsius. Just an absolutely bitchin' day. On my absolute best of days, life with Eamon is wild and wacky and like unpredictable <laughs> but my body at 30 weeks pregnant just can't it just can't keep up so he brought me over to the shocks that I was just getting in the way <sighs> all right it's good enough I told him that I needed a break I needed to come in warm up have a cup of tea cup of tea turned into every leftover in the fridge. <laughs> I don't know if anyone out there is in their third trimester of pregnancy and you can relate. As soon Bottom as I eat pit, something, I want everything. I bet you you could eat this right now. <sighs> I probably could. Decorative pumpkin. <laughs> Just nonstop hunger. Anyways, 
Love you. Bye. Just kidding. We got to go put the CDs away, right? <laughs> <laughs> over and I think I'm gonna have to call it a day after that too much excitement all right it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood <laughs> yeah, I think you gotta turn around, boo. Oh. Yeah, I'll bring a chair over and you can like step onto this. Okay, what are you doing now? You got the, you got the handles there? Yeah, is that okay? Yep, you're good. Good job. Oh. Just like a granny. Can you stop making me laugh today? <laughs> it may have taken us triple the amount of time because we've got me <laughs> as one of the teammates. But I am pleased to announce Docks are away, sea dews are away. That's major. Do we know what the bowl is yet? Not yet. I'm gonna take a time out. Uh huh. Um, go put on a fire and have a bath. I wanna put a fire on and just have like a little bit of a cry. <laughs> For... Just hormones. Yeah, that's cool. And like my pain. Maybe take your life jacket off. Yeah. <laughs> I told you not to make me laugh. This is our Quebec garage. You see, the problem with this thing is it really collects a lot of snow. And apparently the UV also deteriorates the material. So I was thinking about remodeling it and adding all new roof, like metal roof, and like framing it out, because this pole stuff is good. But I think I'm gonna just cross my fingers and hope for one more year. <laughs> Wants a fire. Their fire. What are you doing? I don't get it. <laughs> Did you say you call me eating a cat? <laughs> Is it the whole, I'm outside working and you're inside eating cereal thing? Yeah, that's a bit of humor to it. Oh, you smell so good. Oh my gosh. Foot cramp! Ugh. This is supposed to be sexy ASMR. <laughs> there are some nasty parts of winter in Canada, but this, this is everything. This is so cozy and there's something about a fire that just makes me feel better. Hmm. Ooh, that's probably not the move there, Beck, but going for it. Mystic. Oh! Well, that's still got some pressure in it, I guess. I'm not sure what I was expecting, but that's got to be all the water that was up the hill. Okay, that's good. It's part one. All right. I think if we just disconnect everything, 
the water will be gone. Fill the pump up back with this stuff. The water shouldn't freeze. More water. Should be good. You did good, little tripod Amazon sprinkler. Well, yeah, it's been a... It's been a big day. It's been through a storm. <laughs> I know you guys love the bump date, so here we are. 30 weeks pregnant. By the time you see this, I'll be 31. I keep saying to my OB, I just don't understand how I'm going to get bigger. And he says, and somehow, you do. So, that's encouraging. All right, all that's left is a bowl. Oh! You can't be serious. You need bigger than that, big boy. Oh, that's the winner. You know, I think this is a really great way to end an episode on living in the Canadian wilderness all isolated during winter. Why? Because things get really weird up here. Oh, yeah. Why have all of our episodes had haircuts in the middle? No, I got this. Like, okay. Just like this, right? Are you sure? I guess. So I'm going to start like this line. Oh. Even though it's not the bowl, you want to go higher? I don't know. Isn't a bowl cut the... What? I don't know what I'm doing. That's a lot of hair. You have so Should much Should I get hair. a bigger bowl? Oh my god! Quick, oh my god. <gasps> <laughs> oh, I love it! You want it Yeah, like baby! That guy's a trendsetter, dude. Oh wow, you got this big mole on the back of your head. Mole? Yeah. Can you see it through the bowl? Oh yeah, it's right here. Maybe hmm. what is that? The tip? Here. That's really bad. So we could go even higher. Oh wow. <laughs> See you Sunday. See you Sunday, guys.